What's up guys, it's Gnarly Charlie. I'm going to be doing a cassette review, kind of, I guess, I don't know, section of my channel. Anyway, I'm going to be doing cassettes, and I'm going to break it down and do CDs. I don't know if I'm going to do DVDs. You know, I've, I've got a lot of uh, rock and metal related DVDs. So, you know, leave your opinion. What do you think? And, um, vinyl. So, I, I have an 8-track player, but I don't really have a lot of 8-tracks, so can't really do a lot of those, but, you know, here's the list, you know, here's episode one of the uh, cassette updates. First one we have is Accepts Balls to the Wall, you know, classic German Teutonic metal, if you want to call it that. Straight out of the 80s, possibly 70s or late 70s. You know, if you if you know for sure, it doesn't really say on here. But if you know, please let me know because this is a really good album. Um, Balls to the wall, head over heels, losing more than you've ever had. Turn me on. Lots of good stuff on this album. If you haven't checked this out, other than you know, the yeah, obviously Balls to the wall, definitely put this on your to-do list because. Definitely a monster album. Next we have Accepts Restless and Wild. Another great one. You got Fast as a Shark on here. You've got you know the title song, Restless and Wild. Shake Your Heads. Neon Nights. These are all great songs. I've listened to this album a couple different times. It's not like a ritualistic, you know, I've gotta to listen to it every single day of my life kind of thing. But it's still, nonetheless, a great album, you know. Great band. The newer stuff is really good, too. In fact, I kind of like it better than I do, you know, Udo's vocals on it. Not to say that Udo is not a terrific singer. He is. But for me, the newer singer kind of has a new element to it. That's kind of a grittier, thrashier, I guess if you will, vocal style that, you know, you don't get with Udo, you know. Take it as you will. You know, you may take the old stuff, you may take the new. The new, next one on my list is ACDC's The Razor's Edge. If you're a fan of ACDC, there are other albums besides Back in Black. You know, everyone always says, you know, how great Back in Black is. You know, you can't deny Razor's Edge. You know, with songs like Thunderstruck. You know, you can't go to a baseball game or basketball game. Well, maybe a basketball game. But you can't go to a baseball game or a football game without hearing Thunderstruck. You know? It's just a mandatory thing. Monday, money talks. Rock your heart out. Got you by the balls. Shot of love. Good stuff. You know? Can't go wrong with good classic ACDC. In fact, I don't think there is, in my opinion, a bad ACDC album. Now I could be overthinking it, and I, you know, maybe not thinking hard enough on it, but, you know, I haven't, you know, on top of my head, I can't think of a bad ACDC album. Next, <laughs> I'm a huge Kiss fan, just so you know. I've got, you know, all four of their solo albums. I think they're all original, I'm not 100% sure. But I've got all four of the solo albums on record, and, uh... You know, whenever I saw this at my local record store, I just had to buy it. It's Ace Freely's, Freely's Comet. I think it's the second solo album. You know, after he, it's the first one, I guess, after he went solo and broke off from Kiss. If I'm wrong about that, you know, let me know because I, I, I want to say it's the first album. You know, there's obviously the first solo album where it's got him and the Kiss makeup. But I believe this is the first one on his own, 100%, not his, not released under a Kiss moniker, no makeup, but, you know, Rock Soldier was my jam for a little bit. Definitely a good album. Next one, definitely one of my favorite bands. Um, I actually had to get this on three different formats. This and... Uh, the other album, 
which I'll tell you in a minute. The other album, though, I couldn't find it on the format. Anyway, it's Acid Witch Stones. This is probably one of my favorite Acid Witch albums. You know what, scratch that. It is my favorite Acid Witch album. Um, it, this one comes on Orange Cassette, which I just love. But, you know, Acid Witch really outdid themselves with this album. It's, you know, this is one of those albums that I can put on and not skip a song. I mean, I can't really on cassette. But I've got, it on, I've got it on CD, I've got an MP3 version on my phone to listen to on the go, and I've got it on vinyl. You know, this is one of those albums that, you know, it continuously, start to finish, great album. And, you know, I wish I'd known about it when it first came out, or I probably would have, you know, bought it then, and I'd probably be a bigger fan now. But, in fact, I actually own all of their stuff on all the formats they have, except for the two demos. I guess you'd call them EPs. I don't know. But, those are the only two that I don't have. But, anyway, Acid Witch Stone. I wish I had the uh, Witch Tannic Hallucinations on cassette, but whenever I've tried to buy them from House Headbangers, they only had the Stone album. Anyway, next set collection thing. The Older Glade demos. It's got the first and second demo, both on um, one cassette tape. One, two, and uh, it came with like a pine leaf thing. Not 100% sure. It's got the booklet, and then it's got some ash. But definitely a good album. If you're into black metal, check it out. Good demo. Next, I have Alice Cooper's Constrictor. <laughs> you want some uh, really livid nightmares? Wish really good dreams. Depending on who you are. Any Alice Cooper album. But Constrictor is definitely a good one. Teenage Frankenstein, Throw My Gorilla. Good stuff. I think this is the comeback album for Alice Cooper. It's uh, Trash. Another good album. I am not super big into Alice Cooper, but, you know, for what it's worth, he's got good albums. Um, this is another good one. I think this is his comeback from the 80s. When, uh, went away, you know, did some pretty, in my opinion, bad albums. Dada and, you know, some other ones. But, good album. Totally lost that one. Next I have Hey Stupid. Another good one. If you've seen Wayne's World, I believe, yeah, Feed My Frankenstein is on this one. So, yeah, Wayne's World, you got this one to thank for. That's not the only good song on here. There's loads of good ones. This is probably my favorite, actually, Al Cooper album. It's got Hey Stupid, Love is a Loaded Gun, Burning Our Bed. Might as well be on Mars, Feed My Frankenstein, Hurricane Years. All good songs. You know, it's not, you know, one of my favorites front back albums, period, but for an Alice Cooper album, it's definitely up there for me. If not number one, so. And the last one we have today, it's not really, I don't really consider it a metal album, but um, the best of Bachman Turner Overdrive. I never really claimed that it was going to be strictly metal, but, you know, still a good album. It's their best of. It's got uh, Rolling Down the Highway, Looking Out for Number One, Ain't Seen Nothing Yet, and Taking Care of Business that you've probably heard of. Even if you don't know the songs straight up, you've probably heard the movie somewhere. But anyway, that's my first installation of the cassette collection of my complete music collection so hope you enjoy you know stick around for more and i'll see you guys later